a little over a decade ago, I uh, watched a quote-unquote documentary, which means a liberal propaganda film. Liberals love these uh, quote-unquote documentaries where they mm, take whatever they want you to believe and frame it as science and put it into a cute little film so people can enjoy it, like getting brainwashed. Whether it's, you know, the Michael Moore doing a documentary about guns or whether it's Al Gore doing a documentary about climate change. Liberals love these fucking documentaries because they know that if you call anything science or documentary, people automatically assume that it's true. So, anyway, this particular documentary, because it was before global warming and before Al Gore invented the internet and all the stuff, at that point, of course, nothing ever changes. So, the agenda as it is now to stop you from using energy and oil, it was the same back then, obviously, that would never change. But right now they're saying don't use oil because of COVID. Then year, uh, five years ago they were saying don't use oil because of climate change, but that was like 15 years ago. And at that point they were saying don't use oil because the earth is running out of oil. So they said there were so many dinosaurs, they died, turned into oil, and we're almost completely used up those dinosaurs and we're about to run out of oil and so you're gonna have to give up on certain things namely airplane travel cars and single family homes because well airplanes obvious reason they use oil cars use oil and single family homes because you need a car to get to a home uh, other, if you want to use public transportation you have to live in mega cities and take uh, subways so, you know, fast forward to 2020, you have this COVID pandemic, and they're basically saying, no oil for you, no airplane travel, don't drive further than five miles from your home, stay at home, blah, blah, blah. What happens to the oil? Oil prices go negative. Negative. Wait a minute. You Fox told me 15 years ago that we are going to run out of oil. Nobody's going to be able to afford a single fucking drop of oil because there's going to be so little of oil and everybody's going to be fighting for it. We're going to have all these wars for oil and there's not going to be enough for anybody. Okay, we did have war wars in Middle East, but those were not wars for oil. Those were wars to take out Israel's enemies. So, you know, so for example, in Israeli media, Saddam Hussein was always referred to as basically Nazi anti-Semite. And surprise, surprise, we went and took him out. And we didn't even take fucking oil. We didn't take the oil, and the United States is the biggest exporter of gasoline in the fucking world. So, no, we didn't go there for the oil, and we didn't even take it. So, and yes, they were saying that all, all these wars are for oil, because oil is running out, we're going to be fighting for the very fucking last drop, nobody's going to be able to afford oil, and then, boom, oil prices go negative. What does that tell you? It tells you what I already told you, is that they have agenda, which is to get you to stop using energy because, well, because uh, they want to return you to Stone Age so that you stop depleting the planet. Not necessarily of oil, but generally speaking, let's say, let's say that you can afford cheap oil, right? What are you going to do? you're going to buy a fucking huge car. And then you're going to use that car to drive 100 miles to the mountains so that you can build a huge fucking home in the mountains and drive your three-row CV there every day and so on. So, like, the more energy you have, energy is like money, it's like blood, like oxygen. The more you have, the more activity you generate and the more activity sort of you have going on the more resources of the earth you deplete so because you need resources to build that fucking three row suv you need resources to build that house and so on and so on so they want to scale your life back down and eventually kill you so either euthanize you get you to stop having children or whatever so they want to eliminate you but at the at the very least they want to uh, reduce your footprint by getting you to stop using oil so that was always their goal that doesn't change but what changes is the excuses they use so first it was we're about to run out of oil and the reason we have all those wars in the middle east is because every every country is 
is fighting for the last fucking drop of oil. But that was 15 years ago and nothing happened. The oil didn't run out. So then what happened? Then we had the global warming. And the global warming said that, oh, you know, the planet is going to melt, ice caps are going to melt. By 2012, there's going to be no ice caps left. Well, it's 2020, the ice caps are still there. So what happens then? Then comes the COVID. And again, no airplanes, no cars, do not drive, do not come out of the home, work remotely. <sighs> Meanwhile, oil prices went negative at the beginning, at least, of the shit. And gas is really fucking cheap right anyway. so i hope you're getting the point here i know i keep beating the dead horse but you know somehow people still keep missing this point <laughs>